Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Today we're going to talk about optimal hip extension and really getting length from your psoas, front of the hip, quadricep. So, you know, a lot of people talk about this, but when, you know, for historically the way people have, have thought that they were stretching the front of their hip and the front of their thigh would just to be to kind of collapse and sit forward. So um, we're going to use our marriage proposal position. You can tuck the toes under if that feels comfortable to you or your um, foot can be on the floor. And then you could have a wall or a chair to help steady you. So you want to come into knee under hip and a 90-ish degree, degree with this front leg and foot. And actually at first, walk your toes forward so your heel's a little bit in front of your knee. And then I'm going to have you, see how small that is? Then I'm going to have you drag your knee over the ankle and really actively think about trying to bring the back knee and the front heel together. Have a little bit of a secret tuck and then release that. And so we're going to add on to that because a lot of people default into external rotation, especially when they're trying to extend their hip. So we're going to go into that, that really nice hip extension. And then I'm going to ask you to internally rotate this back leg as you try to extend it. All right. So you're going to set yourself up again, trying to have that secret tuck. Imagine the knee and the foot coming together and then move your lower leg and foot out a bit. Keep drawing your belly up and dropping your tail down and then release that. And that's pretty intense. Let's, I'm going to do it on the other side for a second. So you're going to try to draw the front back knee towards one another. You have a secret tuck and you just do a small internal rotation. So it's not that big, but you'd want to try to get your pelvis square to the wall. So you want to make sure that you don't go too far with that internal rotation and then slowly release it. So that could be sort of a, a real paradigm shift to be working with yourself and with your clients on finding positions that you can really have an optimal hip extension and adding internal rotation. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.